welcome to the lunch zone. Um, we are coming to you live from the ninth floor of Curtain Hall. And uh, we do the land acknowledgement before we begin. Uh, which would be in one of these many land acknowledgement. Come on, Bob. Here we go. Okay, so if we can bring that up. Uh, we acknowledge that in Milwaukee, we live and work on traditional Potawatomi, Ho-Chunk, and Menominee homelands along the southwest shore of Michigami, part of North America's largest system of freshwater lakes, where the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Kinnikinick rivers meet, and the people of Wisconsin's sovereign and the Shinabi, Ho-Chunk, Menominee, Oneida, and Mohican nations remain present. All right. Um, so this week we are playing... Uh, late the game. Uh, it's it came a month ago or so, uh, and it's like a dialogue based choice game where you actually go back to your hometown and do a USPS work instead of your father who is in holiday in I think Florida. Hmm. All right, uh, and I'll introduce myself while we're waiting for this to load up. I'm Thomas Malaby. I'm Professor of Anthropology here at UWM. Um, I'm Matthew Carrick here. I'm a PhD student here at UWM. And I'm Mati. I'm also a PhD student here at UWM. All right, now we just have to relax and have fun. That's right. So our main character, um, our main character is a uh, computer programmer, software engineer, kind of, a uh, really early because the game goes on like the easy. I see. Yes, we made it in time. Oh, that's all. Uh, I feel so bad. Hope you guys had a nice liberty party. the tech things, the phone, you know, obviously the computer screen, the sounds are very, yeah, very nostalgic. What I love about this game is the graphics actually. So I'm a big fan of like chill games and this is one of those games you don't necessarily like have a goal. You just play to yeah. just relax and right. chill. And it's also like easy on the eyes. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around. And there's our first stop. And there's a kind of small um, Learn how to get how to play the game thing. So, E is our key to do many things, and with shift you walk a little faster, and you go to the box. 
the two males in. And technically, this is more or less what you do uh, for for a lot of hours. Hmm. But um, clearly, she's from here. I think I should be able to face the challenge. She has stories. And history is here. Yeah. So that kind of entangles me. Should we get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm. Uh... Hold the thought. I've just arrived at my next address. It's a package this time. So you'll have to get it out of the bag. Hmm. So that's signaling already with the Massachusetts, the MIT, 22 years, 1986, tech industry, you know relationship between perhaps being a woman in the tech industry mm -hmm. and you know career plans and aspirations. My FPS seems to be oh we have to walk to the house. My FPS seems to be a little low. I don't know why. But so you ring the bell. Yeah. Web yeah, camera okay. CS is okay though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it reminds me of uh, Keith Basil's Wisdom Sits in Places, uh, but also Kathleen Stewart's Face on the Side of the Road. Mm -hmm. You're getting um, the hang of it. So, <coughs> where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. And also okay. Zora Neale Hurston, like she went back to her home time. Returns. In a, in a big, yeah. shiny northern yeah. cavern. Right? Right. Her Florida it's home time. Mm -hmm. I was afraid you were going to say that. So it's something that happens in the U.S. that you buy computers for tax purposes, uh, <laughs> because it's something that I oh, realized yeah. uh, in uh, in Turkey, like when you earn money, you just earn money. You know, your company already deducts the money unless you own a business, then you have accountants working right, for you. Right. Uh, for, yeah. for personal um, income tax, there is a bunch of uh, regulations surrounding uh, ways that you can get write-offs. You know, mm -hmm. Income or, or expenses, that amount of money would not be subject to federal tax. And the most one of the most common is if you have your own business, you have a home office, if you buy things for your home office and it's used you know, 80% or whatever for uh, your business, then it's a set of hard location with it. There's all these regulations, but then you can claim the expenses like buying a computer yeah. as not taxable. You get that money back. Right, yeah. I'll call again for you. Oh, one more thing. Treat yourself to food and there's food in the fridge. Bye. Who put the pie in the fridge? Pies are supposed to sit on the counter. Otherwise, the crust gets all soggy. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. Well, if, well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> sinister quality, for sure. Yeah, it's also like the, the manager thing to do. Yeah, right. Call every day on your uh, mm -hmm. two weeks old. And we begin with a report of him and two other men in the company <laughs> having this huge party. Right, yeah. right, yeah. So they were like to... Yeah. So we can be uh, hopeful yeah, or sure, yeah, alacrity <laughs> or sort of. So I'm just gonna go with the positive vibes. All right. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mail bag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. <clears throat> okay, continue with the positive mm -hmm. vibes. Thanks, you probably need that. Bon voyage. So, uh, we have a little math here. It, you know, there's actually something interesting to be said, I just noticed from that, about dialogue trees, right? Like, mm -hmm. lost, me, right, because she's from this town, that would be the idea is like, you know, well, I'm from here, why would I be lost? It almost like computer games in that kind of moment put you in the give you the opportunity to generate that diagnostic event which yeah. would you know uncover call for that postal guy to make some to invoke something to sort of sort out here do i am i someone who needs a map or not what is my level of cultural knowledge are you making it but the the polite response 
you know, which kind of papers over that, right? And uh, it's kind of a new way of thinking about, for me, about computer dialogue, mm -hmm. that you're put in this position to either create that breach or not. Yeah. Right? So right. we have the map here. Uh, so we have one packet, actually four packages and two mails to deliver today. So I think we just like start. No, oh, I didn't case, know that there was a horn. What the breach would reveal, you know, obviously is not the sort of what's at stake in a in a kind of social context in the traditional sense, but what is at stake for the computer designer in their mm -hmm. sort of portrayal of a particular social context, right? Now, it's chill, it, right? It, yeah, it re well, and if you if you say the unexpected or the contrary transgressive thing, mm -hmm. then you're diving behind the scenes about what the designers are. Think are the dynamics of this country, right? What's right. at stake? Exactly. It, re it reminds me of um, when people say, like, there are these sort of jokes about yeah. people wanting to play oh, evil characters, in games, but never being, they're never wanting to choose the really new dialogue options, right? Right. right? And what that says about that tension, right, mm -hmm. between your identification and wanting to sort of go along with those conventions and and the ethical framing around it versus wanting to engage the game in perhaps potentially deeper. Way. Why is it easier to go around and, for example, do Actually, evil deeds, right? Shoot point. people, That's make crimes, mm -hmm. than it is oh, to choose yeah, evil yeah. dialogue options. What is it about oh, that? Um, when, uh, what is it about that sort of space or that is marked or that is sort of socially transformative in a way that simply acting in the environment isn't, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to check a real quick setting. Um, okay. Performance. No, it's, yeah, okay. I hope these things. Oh, uh, reload it. I don't know why, but the laptop system doesn't recognize this game as a game hmm. <laughs> to run the. Dang. Higher FPS setting. <laughs> and what I like to do is actually. Like, it's like the platform is participating in that debate about whether <laughs> something is a game. Yeah, yeah, whether they're walking <laughs> something is a game. Or... Um, it's interesting the dialogue the boss as well. It's just because coming out of COVID and everybody going back to work, there's this new subreddit that's booming called uh, Anti Work, mm. where people post. People post screenshots of SMS conversations with their managers who are acting from a position of like pre COVID superiority. I can threaten you, right. come in and cover someone. And it's all of these people who are, have this confidence now because of the changed labor market where there's a surplus of options, right? To say, no, you can't treat me like this. Yeah. I quit. And then they take a screenshot, they put it on the subreddit. And Comparatively to other subreddits, some of these posts have like sixty thousand uploads and stuff. So this is a this is a big location, a big site, right? Where people right. are. Right. Is it solidarity or what is it? You know. Yeah. But yeah. Well, that's interesting. Because of all these macro forces, you know, this subreddit has become a sort of emergent place. That so it's interesting to hear the way in which the boss is sort of subtly threatening her leisure time, right? Right. She's away from doing work. Yep, uh, I'm... And there's sort of two types of narrative on that subreddit. There's the white collar workers who are having to now return to the office. Mm -hmm. And there's the service workers who like bartenders or whatever, who are burnt out or exhausted or whatever, and having to cover other people's shifts. It's really those two different things. Yeah, so the whole kind of service industry, you know, restaurant, bar industry, we had a really excellent dissertation written about a college graduates uh, turning to service industry work in the Twin Cities by Susan Hill, one of Cal Applebaum's students. Mm -hmm. And you you really get the sense that that industry, and maybe it's changing right now, but when she was writing, it considered itself kind of sui generis, you know, of its own kind of labor, and therefore people participating in it seemingly didn't imagine 
they imagined their relationship to the legitimacy of the work demands that were made upon them differently mm -hmm. than most labor markets. You know, um, this kind of ethic of, well, you never let the kids in. It's almost like a bit of a performance thing. It's a bit like theater, you know, um, the show must go on kind of idea yeah. about participating in that industry. And, and maybe what we're witnessing right now is the, the fragmentation of that ethical uh, frame around working for restaurants and bars. Well, if you think about uh, Goffman in the Chetland Hotel and the sort of embarrassment about leaving the kitchen door open because the, the managers didn't want the English uh, clientele to see them all eating together behind the scenes because they wanted to make it look like that they weren't as equal as the islanders maybe. Well, I mean, it got even more complicated than that because often uh, many of the young women who would act as servers in those Shetland Island hotels they actually came from a higher status family than the owners of the, of the inn, right? So then there was this weird performance of an inversion of their actual class status, you know, for the customers. Having always to maintain the diegesis of the, for the customers, right, of whatever they rhetorically claim to be. Right, right. Long time no see. Oh, you feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. I cannot actually imagine to leave your hometown for 22 years and come back out of nowhere. Right? I don't know. Like, so what I did, like, I couldn't return to Turkey for two years almost. And once I got went back, everything was different already mm -hmm. in two years. I mean, COVID was a big thing about it too. Right, that changes a lot, right? My COVID year in Turkey, oh, okay. I went back to this rugby club I played in after maybe 10 years, oh, and they were the same cases, you know, so I got that sort of home time thing. I remember I went back to Fanyan on Crete in 2015 for the honeymoon with Jill, and I hadn't been there since I studied the Euro rollout in 2001, so 15 years. And it was, uh, it really didn't feel that different. Oh, he sounds good. Thanks. 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 Feel that way now. Right up. And one piece, piece of blueberry, blueberry pie. pie. There's a team with blueberry pie in the third. I don't know what's up, but. He's wearing a blueberry colored coat, too. It's, yeah, so do we want to go with the divergence eating, eating the pie or? Trying to say that eating pie oh, is not yeah. a healthy choice. In so the this is yeah. Am, he's changed, right? Do I, yeah. Do I, am I am I the person you expect, or am I have I am I going to claim the right to have changed? Mm -hmm. So um, which way do we want to go? Well, let's see what happens when we do the action. Yeah, let's do the transgressive. Actually, mm -hmm. I would like to stay healthy these days. You kind of tell me my pie is a health hazard now, Miss Wise. Actually, one blueberry pie. pie. <laughs> regardless Actually, of the choice you leave. It's also like such a close hometown familial feeling. So like you say no, but it doesn't matter. Right. right. And also I'm a fan of Ashley, uh, the Ashley? person in the kitchen. Oh, uh, doesn't seem to give a single oh, shit about everything in life. <laughs> Just like continues to ruin everything. I will say too, you know, oh, 1986, but she travels to this hometown. She's traveling kind of back in time, both in terms of her own personal history, but also all the markers of it, the the, the way the gas station is designed, the way this mm -hmm. diner is designed, all of that is there's a kind of 50s quality that's, mm -hmm. you know, temporarily and geographically removed from, um, you know, her life where she began. I mean, so she, uh, right now is 86, she left. 22 years ago. Yeah. Meaning that 50, 60, 64. 64. Uh, so, like 10 year time between those 50s style yeah. and yeah. two. No offense, Maureen. But it's it's not, it's not surprising. Honestly, first on the roof and now this. Oh, that pancake is one of the most dramatic. I'm sorry. Maureen is one of my least favorite person in the game. She talks pretty much for my face. All right. Well, I hope you will continue at it. I've got to head to my office hours. All right. Yeah. Cool, Bobby. Well, I can continue for like another. What's the time? Uh, 45? 10, 15. Yeah, of course. Goodbye, stream.
Hope to see you next week. Uh, All right, until next time. So, let's see actually where we're going. Actually, it makes more sense to make a turn and go back to the town again. Mm -hmm. Not really following the traffic rules. But I'll... But the whole thing about this game is to, I think, drive. And, but the game still made, like, some, uh, like, quick points that you can just travel. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, where is it? So you can just click, like, ah, travel. travel. Yeah. But, like, that kind of defeats the purpose of the game. And, and That's also. true. That's true. I used to playing Grand Theft Auto as a child and trying to demonstrate to my parents that it wasn't too mature a game for me. Mm -hmm. I would always try and follow all of the uh, driving uh, laws and everything. Look, it's a driving sim, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Did they buy it? Well, they liked the music because it was always historically um, located. So Vice City, 80s music or whatever, and it would always like make them they would think, oh, it's just that he's just driving in the 80s. It's no, uh... and then, of course. Reality hit. <laughs> uh, but, um... I'm really having a hard time to understand to why the game isn't working on a high FPS. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Seventy FPS is kind of low for this laptop. Are you saying on your? On my on my laptop. Oh, you've got it in the bottom left. Yeah. So I really don't like see the point because I usually get like one fifty in like uh, FPS games. Oh really? I play Valorant a lot, so. And I think streaming it through Discord, oh god, I'm a horrible driver. That's why I don't drive in person in real life too. Oh god, no! I would be, I would be manslaughter. Uh, I mean, when I got my license, I was kind of better. But is it true that in Wisconsin, oh, if you're over twenty-one or something, you don't, you can just get your license in the mail and start driving? I mean, it, you don't even need to be 21, I guess. You just, like, start... You get a permit. And then you do your trip training. Oh. A year or two, maybe, mm -hmm. with the permit. And then you actually apply for the final license. But 21 might be a limit, too. So, we have uh, Miss Jenkins. I'm just going to go there. Male man, exactly. I married once. Heavens, I knew what that is. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right. Does it, Jenkie? Why, so of course, you're a human scooter along, too. This is Meryl Watts, Jenkie. She used to live in town years and years ago. Uh, do we get to correct because she called us Meryl? Mm-hmm. Or we we get to correct it was 22 years ago. So but either that. way, we have to be pedantic yeah. about how we're placed. Mm -hmm. Well, it just depends on what you want to go for. I'm just going to go with like more angry. I also now feel bad because it's an elderly lady and I was aggressive towards her. She's Mildred Jenkins. Oh, do we get go oh. and be mean oh well i don't know maybe she's proud of being the cat lady let's see of course you're the cat lady and you've got more cats than ever yes i do like cats is that such a problem no she got offended she's defensive about the cats what i what i like about this game is that um, mm -hmm. 
it's like a well designed uh ttrpg right okay and it's happening in a really small town and yeah. you're not a superhero yeah yeah um, those are my favorite types and you like that actually more than um the combat and stuff yeah yeah uh so you just go around you have a job to do there's a quest you're mapping relations as you go yeah joining dots and there are npcs who give you side quests like this person uh so we're talking about a third person who is a bit mean to the um, uh, yeah. so we're learning but not just x and y but x in relation to y so emily is actually our his best friend mm -hmm. from the past Mm -hmm. And normally, if you choose otherwise, this lady gives you a side quest mm -hmm. to take one of the cats to a fisherman. But because you were rude, oh, we, we didn't get, get that. that side quest. Yeah. And I think I have made other choices when I played the game. Luckily, not every delivery has... I don't even need that. Uh, not every delivery has conversations, but this is also one with some sort of interaction. And uh, when you forget, like, the package... Wait, where's, where's the, the package? package? It reminds you that you forgot <laughs> So you actually have to go and open the thing up yeah. and get the package. So it's real realistic to an extent. Where's the Curious to see, like, there's no Amazon at this time. So, or this stuff online. Right, of course. <laughs> and they get packages every day. Mm. And it's a small town. So, again, we get to be aggressive or like nicer. I'm just going to go with the most aggressive. Although, this is not. He looks quite good. He's going to get some banter. Thank you. So she she's doing this this thing, right? She's identifying oh, the the van mm -hmm. with an animal yeah. from her position as a mechanic. Mm -hmm. there is no yeah, that's kind of like and I have to get back. people who are into cars. Have a tendency oh, to give kind of characteristics to the car, mm -hmm. yes. kind of maintain a form of relationship. I don't know, my brother is quite into cars. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, he always did that in the past. By creating a um, by creating a metaphorical relationship right. between right, the domain of of right. birds and the domain of did, did vehicles. Mm -hmm. You're saying that not only is the goose like the van, but the van is like a goose. Yeah. Changing both of those things. And let's not forget, she lived, her, her garage is right next to the coast of the lake. Yeah. So these are two domains which are right in her doorstep. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Also, is it metaphorical or metonymical? Right, well... Uh, I mean, I'm being the th Thomas here because he left early mm -hmm. and he would bring this up. <laughs> well, you know, of course, the me I think I would say it's metaphorical because it's about borrowing distinctions from two distinct semantic yep. fields rather than metonymic, which would be, uh, I think, within the same used. course of yeah. experience, one being used for itself, right? I, I agree. I just want to it's be, good. No, be it's my advice well. for a second. <laughs> Though, I also did radio. Is that because you have to take a turn? I think the first day is the least busy day in terms of deliveries, but it's also like quite a busy day because we are reforming the oh, relationship. Okay. Okay. And we have a lumberjack. Yeah. I mean, we'll have it in a moment, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
there's a big bonus. Do you want to go with 30 or? I don't know. How do you think about us uh, in this position on Twitch uh, making a avatar flirty? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm quite up for it. There's the multiple options for us. Should sure you play them all out? <laughs> well, let's go then. He's playing back. I'm here to deliver my Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be nosy. Yeah, yeah. nosy mailman. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be so pointing you this. I'm sorry, but I have to take the better one for this. Now have a nice day. You kind of reject that. Oh dear. Well, you can't expect everything from a first visit. Yeah. So now we're done with today, we return to the post office. Oh. And just to say, Does it keep track of time organically? Uh, uh, there's no actually time aspect to it. It's always, you know, you start in the morning around 6 a.m. because there's a radio. Well, that's the position of the sun and the lighting. There is a bit of what? Oh. That's weird. There's a clunk there, the old beast. Yeah. So it's sort but of like... like mm -hmm. Sun changes a bit, but there's not really like a... You never see sunset mm -hmm. uh, in the game. I'm not sure if I went too quick to deliver the things, but there are times that like night happens. This is so American that her two-week holiday is, is to go right home right and cover for her elderly father who is too sick to do his own job. Oh, he's not sick, actually. He's in a holiday in Florida. Oh, I see. But your point remains. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's like, kind of weird to see. You have children, so one day they can cover for you at work, so you can go. So, like, the weird part about this, the USPS is technically a federal job, mm -hmm. and being able to just like replace people is very difficult is it i i, I imagine so because all these broke addicts you have a lot of see and but you just like take on a job and and there's a person who is like okay with that it's not a secret like everybody knows about it there's a bribery aspect to the game that we will see later yeah. But I'm kind of hoping to finish the stream after the first day. Yeah, for sure. And we are we arrived to the post office. So we will park here and end the work. So now we'll see that time change in the sun and the so did, did, did these things change depending on your actions as, as time goes on? I'm not sure about that. Like, I try to go slower on, like, when I play. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to really change. Oh, I'm all right. The job's okay, I guess. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh, I sure look fine. It's only for two weeks. Yeah, I drove that truck for decades. Oh. Uh, so we get to be kind of passive aggressive. I actually like mm -hmm. aggressive in terms of like she, she's her. Yeah, and kind of create a distinction between family yeah, versus dad, me yeah. as a person. We can be continuous or discontinuous. Yeah. Hi, I'm bad. <laughs> Getting deep into gambling there. So this is about the first day, and we have a choice here uh, regarding we get to watch a TV or read a book. And I'm gonna go with reading a book. Like, I felt this, like, carpenter. 
The Hunters and the Carpenter. The Rotica and the Countess yeah. and the Carpenter. Oh, we get to listen to it. Chapter one. A more disastrous accurate than we are was scarcely imaginable as a Sicilian troop proud. The left wheel of her clan collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Rauben style in the state. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? So I think it's a good place to end the stream yeah, sure. for today. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can play the game in another stream for next week on one song, in case, unless somebody wants to play another game. I'm I'm okay for continuing this or whatever. It's good. But it takes about like a couple of hours, and I don't think we will be able to finish in two months. No, sure. <laughs> so, I think the important thing is that we just get back into the rhythm of coming here, and we know the tech setup and getting used to all of that kind of thing. Yep. And there are like some quests that you get to do where you learn more about this, the, the town and so on. So it's a good place. I really like the graphics of the game. So cool. Along yeah. with like physically being here, being together, because I think last week was the first show we did in person after like what, how many months? You mean Puzzle Agent? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The first week, uh, two weeks ago, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been like, I don't know, 16, 18 months that we haven't done Lunchstone in person. Yeah, so we can't beat ourselves up to that. Yeah, agreed. All right. Love okay, you guys. That's Thank the end of the stream for today. Joining us.